Jeff Bryan, and for my T205 uh, video project, I was going to tell you about making recovery discs, uh, talking about uh, restore points, and talking about uh, backing up your personal computer files. Uh, first off, to talk about recovery disc, and, and what is it? A recovery disc is uh, something that you you can create. Uh, uh, it'd be best to do it whenever you first purchase your computer because it's like new and. And uh, when you make the recovery disk, it's pretty easy in most of the computers. I've had an Acer, I've had an E-Machine, and I've, uh, I've had an HP, and all of them come with it to where when you first turn your computer on, it'll automatically ask you if you want to make recovery disk, but you're going to have to make sure that you have some blank DVDs on hand uh, uh, because they, they do require a lot of space, and it'll probably take more than... Uh, will at least take two, maybe three or four discs to completely make of it because it backs up your operating system, backs up the applications and the drivers that originally came with your computer. Why do you need to do this? Well, a lot of times computers get in such a state that they're not uh, fixable. You can't just delete. Uh, an example would be given uh, if you ever get a Trojan on your computer and uh, you're not able to get rid of the Trojan off of your computer and just to be on the safe side just go ahead and uh, uh, take your recovery disk you put them in the computer and, and it'll step you through the process I, it's almost as easy as the creation of them and they, it'll prompt you to do and tell you what you need to do and you just follow the steps um, do this uh, when you first buy your computer like I said it would prompt you to ask you if you want to make the creation disk and it'll step you through the process You just get your blank DVDs, you put them in there. Uh, speaking on DVDs, it, you can buy the DVD-Rs or the RW. It's a waste of money to buy the DVD-RWs because these are discs you're going to want to keep, so you, you probably won't ever want to erase them. So, and um, the DVD-Rs are slightly cheaper than the RWs. Um, when, whenever you're going to do this, uh, if you're doing it on a laptop, make sure you have it plugged in because your battery's not going to be charged. And um, and once you've created the disk, make sure you store them in a safe place for safekeeping so you remember where they're at and that the, the disk will be safe. Uh, um, you know, on any type of CD or DVD, uh, the bottom side of it is what it records on. So a lot of people, they don't bother putting it in a case and then they'll just kind of throw it around or toss it in a drawer and the surface gets all scratched up and they may become unusable because of that. So just make sure you store them in a proper place and know where they're at when, in case you might need them. Thanks. Next we're going to talk about restore points. A uh, restore point uh, uh, will return your system and file settings to an earlier point in time without affecting your personal files. An example of this would be your, your registry. If, uh, if you notice that you've installed something recently that's causing a lot of problems, uh, Whenever you install that, like an update, can cause problems. Uh, it may have affected uh, some registry settings that isn't compatible with your computer or some other type of software. So to correct the problem, you can return your system over to an earlier point in time, like before you had the problem experience, so things will work out all right on your computer and it'll be just like it was before you did that install or, or update. Uh, restore points uh, normally are created uh, once a week uh, and just before any significant system event. So uh, uh, you can go into the control panel and, and change the settings on the restore points. You can do them manually if, if you uh, want to or you can do them just manually when it's not a normally scheduled time to do it you can go in and do it any other time that you would like to do it. Um, it should be on by default when Windows is installed on a computer but you want to make sure that it is on. A lot of times it will use uh, uh, a partition of your hard drive to put those restore points down onto and you can configure it to your needs. There's other options in there but you should schedule it for a convenient time uh, and what I mean by that is if you're if uh, you have known periods of time that you're normally on the computer you wouldn't want to schedule the restore point for that because it is going to take up system resources to create that restore point so try to do it at a time that your computer is going to be on but you're not going to be working on it and uh, to find out more about restore you go to the Microsoft website or just go to your help files uh, in Windows.
Alright, next we're going to be talking about backup, and let me clarify what I mean by backup. Uh, talking on this video here, I'm, I'm talking about backing up your own personal files because uh, we've already talked about making recovery disks and restore points, uh, neither one of which do anything with your personal files that you've created on on your uh, computer. And, and uh, this is a prime example if uh, uh, if you know that uh, or where in Windows that it, it creates a My Documents folder and a My Pictures and if you keep everything that you personally saved or created or downloaded in those folders then you'll automatically know where all your stuff is that you need to back up. Sometimes uh, certain software programs will by default save things in a different location but most often that's not the case and uh, whenever you're going to do a backup you're going to have to have some type of medium to store these uh, these personal files on and I would say it's probably more important for somebody who runs a business at home but also people who have a very extensive library of downloaded uh, uh, music files or, or video files that they've created and worked on uh, uh, it it would become a lot more important for those those people to back up their personal files. Now I'm holding in my hand uh, an external hard drive. This one's a 400 gigabyte and uh, that's almost half terabyte and, and that's a lot of storage space. I've backed up three or four uh, personal computers on this thing and I haven't even taken up half the space on it so that kind of gives you an idea what's on it. There's a lot of video files on there and a lot of downloaded Linux operating systems which each uh, operating system is probably 700 megabytes each and there's uh, probably 20 of those on there and I still haven't taken up half of it. Another way that you can uh, back up your stuff is with a, a DVD or a CD. You know, you want to choose your medium based on how much um, information you're going to have to back up. You know, if you don't have a whole lot, you might want to get just one of those uh, little flash drives. I think I got one right here with me. This is an 8 gigabyte flash drive, but you may not even need that much. But um, it always seems to be the case uh, whenever I, I buy something like this, uh, I think, wow, you know, I'd never fill up all the space on this, but uh, I've always needed more space than what I thought I would ever, and with the increasing uh, types of medium that you can download on computers now, you, you make sure you have enough storage space. It's, it's better to, to go over what you think you need than to just go with what you think you might need for the moment so you don't have to buy something else later. Um, on these external hard drives they, they connect in different ways, some of them with firewire but I think most of them are USB port which should be plenty quick enough for you to uh, download large files and back up rather, rather quickly. You can also download them onto memory cards but the problem with that is uh, they're relatively expensive to do that and, and also if you've got a lot of files, uh, DVDs only hold about uh, I think it's 4.7 gigabyte so if you need more than that how many DVDs are you going to need to back up all your your items and are they going to be reusable if, if you update your files how often would you have to back up uh, the saved changes on that uh, uh, you can get a lot of uh, backup software I, I just do mine I just go into the folders where I know all my stuff is and I just drag it over to the disk this external hard drive but uh, there's a lot of software that will automate that for you some of them are free you can go to cnet.com or sourceforge or twocows.com uh, there's plenty of sites that are safe uh, reputable sites where you can download some free software they might give you some, suggest some suggestions you can even buy the software or some external hard drives that you buy may come on already with the, the backup software that you need and but just remember that uh, you, you probably want something, unless you're really computer literate, something that's really easy to use, uh, that's low cost, uh, and that would be able to handle the amount of space that you're going to need on that. And always think farther into the future, how much more space am I going to need? So go ahead and just go ahead and shell out the extra money to buy the bigger capacity so you can get more than what you think you need. But anyway, that's all I have for backup.